It turns out this biplane is quickly becoming one of my favorite things to fly. I knew that when I bought it, I was going to enjoy it. I just didn't know I would enjoy it like bang to the top of my list so fast. I maidened it very recently on the channel. I've flown a couple other packs through it just for some like B-roll and content for our shorts channel, which you should subscribe to. But I found myself so excited to fly it again that I've got six fresh batteries to fly this beautiful biplane on again. It is ridiculously fun for me. It's kind of pushing me to want to try things that I'm not good at doing. And believe it or not, this is extremely beginner friendly. This could be your first airplane. No. How, however, and I say that very, like Abby yelled at me a second ago and said, don't say that. But if this were five years ago, this would be the easiest to fly trainer on the market. I'm only saying it could be your first because it is so easy to fly in beginner mode or safe mode that it is very easy to fly. However, there are better suited trainer airplanes. So if you like what you see, maybe this is one of your first videos you've ever seen on an RC airplane. We'll have a couple perfect trainer airplanes linked below in the description box with a couple of our videos to go with them to know that you're in good hands. A little more budget friendly too. But if you've flown one airplane or more, maybe it's time to step up to something that is both beautiful and functional and flies great. Really, there's nothing else to be said. Let's fly. Isn't one of the best days in the world when you wake up and you don't think you're going to get to fly, but then it turns out you get to fly? That was today. As we taxi out, I want to remind you guys that this airplane is linked in the description box below and that when you use those links, you help support our channel and our family. So please, if you're going to consider buying an airplane, click that link. Ready for takeoff if you are? Yep. And we snap. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this plane is crazy fun. It is, uh, this is just my third total flight on it and my confidence just soars when I fly this thing. Obviously safe is off when I'm flying it, but it is extremely easy to fly when safe is on. We can do our Cuban eights and never have to roll the plane over. We can just keep going outside loop, inside loop, outside loop, inside loop. And then we can just kind of snap it if we want to. Yeah, it's fun to fly, wow. And a beautiful plane at that. Look at that checkered pattern on the bottom. We can get it right into a knife edge. A little squirrely there at first, but here we are. Yeah, look at that. We can just do that forever. And then orientation on this thing is great. So I, I find myself being able to see orientation of it really quickly, even after one of these kind of things. Yeah, now we've got a, I hear a full scaler, but they are way was, up there, way, way, way up I was there. zooming out so I could scan for you. But nice and smooth. This airplane, you can fly, as I said, it'll fly like a trainer because if you really want to, you can just fly it nice and docile. Your rolls can be super smooth like that. You can have nice wide loops, although that was just a little crooked. You know, you don't have to fly it crazy like I have been, but it does fly really nice and docile. You can fly it just like an old scale airplane if you'd like. And somebody requested in a previous video that we did on our maiden flight that I do a slow flyby. So I haven't really tested this thing slow. I'm gonna leave safe off and just see what it does. So how slow can we get it? This is really low on the throttle. I can feel it stalling a bit there, but that is really slow. So let's just climb out of that. It's a, it's really nice, well-rounded airplane. And for some reason, there just hasn't been a lot of love with this airplane that I've seen online. Um, and it deserves it because this is like, I don't know. I don't know where to put this in a category of airplane. It's really sporty. It's fairly 3D. Um, I think there are probably more 3D airplanes on the market than this, but I mean, if I want to, I can kind of hover. I'm not a great pilot to show hovering, but it, it can do it. And I used to be able to do, um, 
like flat spins and stuff, but I'm a little, little rusty. So uh, I can try to get into one of those today. I just wanted to fly for fun. That's why I charged six batteries. And I thought if I want to fly something that I like that much, I might as well bring the camera and turn it on for you guys. Abby is probably gonna fly this really soon. Uh, we like it so much that we actually picked up a second one. We bought a second one of these because- So uh, I can crash it because Nate has a second one. So it's okay. That's right. <laughs> It's she about time I crash anyway. She doesn't like to fly things unless I've roughed it up already. So I thought, you know what? Maybe I'll intentionally rough this one up one time just so she'll be brave uh, to, uh, to fly it. It's all right. I'll do it. I'll do it. Good. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Just dancing up there. Man, that's fun to fly. Uh, and the, I hope you guys can tell from maiden flight to this flight, the amount of confidence I've gained is just pretty insane. You know, this whole flight is with safe off and <laughs> I, you were looking at my radio. I wanted to see what you were doing. <laughs> I wanted to see, I, I saw your, your thumbs. Asked. I'm sorry guys. Your thumbs are going crazy yeah, and I just I wanted to see what stuff, you were I doing. Uh, I just, I don't even really think about it. I just do it. <laughs> He's like gunning the throttle up and down. Yeah, you do a little of that just to play with um, how the airplane is like, if you want it to climb more or if you want it to stop and hover more. So like if I, if I don't, if I want to climb and roll, I just go throttle up and roll. But I like to play with the throttle and see what it does to the airplane and then see if I can mimic that again another time. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's a really fun airplane to fly. And if you guys want, to stick around I'll, I'll put another battery in and fly now you hear this little beep that's going off that's a five minute timer to say hey you've been in the air for five minutes on my radio but also this airplane right out of the box when you get one of the new nx radios or some of the older um, ix and dx radios we'll have our favorite linked in the description box below the nx radios right out of the box without any updates or anything have telemetry so when you bind it up to this airplane you have a smart battery system that tells you how much juice is left in your battery and uh, it's amazing that it works right out of the box as soon as you bind the airplane to the radio it just works perfectly and uh, i think that's really impressive so like i'm going to get an alarm that'll go off and say hey your battery is low, it's time to land, or it's time to start thinking about landing. I love that that works. I don't have to rely on those little LiPo alarms anymore. It's a nice little low, slow pass, and then we can just throttle up and roll out of it and do some really crazy stuff if we want to. And if ever I panic, I can throw my switch and I've got safe mode on to save me, but I don't think I've had to use it yet this flight, knock on wood. It's a really fun airplane. I think you guys, there, that, hear that alarm? That's my low voltage alarm. Now, if I go back down to zero throttle, the uh, voltage will, you know, slowly climb back up and the alarm has gone off. So I know if I'm gonna punch it, I'll be fairly low on battery. Uh, but if I'm just gonna cruise around, I could probably fly like this for two or three more minutes. Um, so that's pretty cool. I had a weird gust of wind out there. I'm gonna line it up for a landing, I think. And just, uh, we'll try it with safe off, you know, I. I rely on safe a lot. I think the way I have this set up, there might actually be a little bit of expo in my radio, the way uh, the way I bound it to the preset. Uh, let's focus. That was a pretty good landing. I'll take nice. that anyway. Nice, that was ah. better than the last one. There we go, we'll use the grass <laughs> to come very quick. Hey, that's like five feet away from us. There you go, you guys got to see my real third flight. My very first flight was on YouTube. My second flight was uh, YouTube shorts mixed with a little bit of B-roll, right? Instagram content. Yeah, all that good stuff. And that was really like me and Abby kind of staging it off camera. So I'd have to 
fly around and then say, okay, all right, we're gonna fly by and get a nice slow roll. You know, that kind of stuff. So it wasn't me like enjoying the flight. So this was probably the most enjoyed flight and it was my third battery ever on this RC plane. I think that was pretty good for a third flight and I'm no professional, I just enjoy flying. So uh, that's kind of what this thing is capable of and then some. I think it's an amazing airplane, truly an amazing airplane, backed by a really good company too with spare part availability, customer service. I mean, what more could you ask for in an airplane like this? It is a performance, fun, happy airplane. And, and you know, it's, it's one thing to fly a nice slow scale airplane and, and enjoy that. But for me, a sporty, somewhat acrobatic 3D airplane is really where I just am having the most fun. I, I love this thing. Uh, I don't know what else to say, it's just fun. You know you can throw, uh, fly a 3S battery on this, and when you do, they recommend, it comes with two um, wing support rods. One is metal, one is carbon fiber. I have the metal one in here, which is recommended on the 4S battery. When you fly 3S, they recommend putting the carbon fiber uh, rod back there. It would be a little tricky to take that in and out all the time so i thought i'm probably gonna fly 4s most of the time so i just put the metal rod in there i only say tricky because you'd have to take the tape on and off and i just i just don't want to do that but it can fly 3s or 4s so if you don't want to fly super acrobatic like i was doing not that that's super acrobatic you can just put a uh, you know set it up to fly more docile just maybe some casual loops and rolls and then throw your safe switch. You can fly 3S on this thing all the time. I just prefer 4S, it's just a bit more fun for me. And I know there's some other people out there that would like to fly that way too. Woo, it's fun. You know, I bragged about safe technology in this video and it really is awesome. It will help the beginner pilot learn to fly something like this with just the best security blanket in the world. But even better than that is having insurance when you fly. I wouldn't consider of maidening a new airplane. And you know what, I've said this probably a hundred times, but I wouldn't even consider flying a paper airplane without AMA. It just makes me feel so comfortable. Like I can just, fly the way I want to, you know, and, and I'm, I feel very safe. I hate to use the word safe because it's a safe technology, but that's how I feel knowing that I have AMA, which is the Academy of Model Aeronautics Insurance. So I highly encourage you guys, if you're just getting into the hobby, you're, you're buying this, it's maybe your second, third, or a hundredth airplane like us, or you're taking our recommendation and you're buying a trainer airplane that we have linked in the description box below, no matter where you are in the hobby, I highly recommend you not only have AMA, but you fly by their guidelines, okay? There are guidelines set in place that help us represent the hobby extremely well and help keep you and everybody around you flying safe. So if you wanna learn more, we'll have them linked in the description box below. Again, I, I couldn't recommend it any stronger than anything on our channel. You need AMA. A little cold, but the weather's clearing up and just had a beautiful day to fly. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it was just an unexpected day to fly, which is just always one of the best times, isn't it? And for that, I wanna thank the big guy upstairs just for giving us all these awesome opportunities to share this hobby with you guys. And without you watching and our amazing Patreon support team, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have all the good stuff linked in the description box below. And with any luck, we might find Abby flying this on the channel someday. Someday. We've got two of them, so we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. We'll have my maiden flight of this awesome biplane popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. See you there. Bye!